What's up guys and welcome back to part two of this video. We got these panels all clicked up on this fender and today we're just going to be fine tuning these, get them a little bit closer to the contour of that fender and then tack and weld these babies in. So let's jump right into it. This transition right here is a little funky. You could see that gap right there. We want to get that even closer. Then we'll go ahead and trim these down, get it away from that hole. And then we're going to tack it right on that corner, right on that inside corner. Cut and we'll start, we'll start tacking and welding that fender on. I'm going to start by taking off this top panel. Try to get this one a little closer on this side. I think I'm going to stretch in here just a little bit more, put it in the wheel. That should bring this down just a little bit to where we, to where we want it. So. All it needed was that little bit. I still think this inside needs to come down a little bit to meet up with that corner. I could push that down to go into that corner. I'm gonna have to bring that whole, that whole edge piece down in some areas. Okay, I'm gonna start tacking this side in, right where it feels the most seamless. Right there. Now that I got this side tacked in, I'm gonna pull these clicos out and move this outer fender over. I'm gonna cut on my scribe line. I'm gonna bring it back to, to match up. Put this top piece back on to hold this fender where it needs to be. Now we're going to take these clicos off of this guy, pull it off, cut on our scribe line, start tacking this piece in. All right, we're going to put some of these clamps on it. I'm actually going to tack this because that's pretty close right there. All right, I'm gonna start tacking, starting from the middle and work my way out on these sides here. So now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna tack in between all these tacks, get a little bit closer. 
And then once I tack that in, I'm gonna go through and hammer some of these tacks out and try to keep it from, I call it emming in. So when, when you heat both panels, they like to sink. And that's that, I, I really don't like when it does that. So once I tack it, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna hammer that out, stretch that metal back out so we got a nice contour. But for now, let's just go ahead and tack some of this in. cut this flange out right here that's the three quarter inch flange that we left in here I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out now that way I could clean up under there and then and then weld this whole corner So I'm at the point where I'm gonna go ahead and start welding this all the way around this edge right here. I'm gonna weld that and then we'll jump on the rest of it. Okay, now that this whole corner edge is welded, I'm gonna go ahead and grind that down make it a nice beveled corner and then I want to fit it back on the car and see how this flange reacted to that heat. All right, we got this all ground down. It looks pretty good, so let's go ahead and put it on the car. Oh! Broke my cutoff wheel. So now I'm gonna weld this one up all the way to the back. Start welding. Gotta turn on the machine, bro. guys so we got this pretty much fully welded up right now we're gonna go ahead and grind all these welds off on the outside and the inside and start planishing
Okay, now we're pretty much ground all the way down. We're gonna go ahead and take the fender off, grind on the back side. That way we have nice even metal to start planishing all this. This is a little wavy. Some of this metal didn't get properly leveled before I welded it in some really small spots. Most of it is though. So let's pull this off. Okay guys, we're at the point where we're gonna start planishing all these welds down. I could feel there's a low spot here. I knew this was gonna be low in here. This as well. When it gets hot, it kind of sinks in a little bit. So we always gotta deal with that no matter what we're welding on. Uh, this is a little high spot right here. So I'm gonna start with this little area right here. Now that it's low, I'm gonna bang all this out. I'm gonna bang it up like this. And then we'll put a little bit of Sharpie on there, sand it, see where all the high spots and the low spots are. And then we'll deal with all those all the way across this panel. Okay, that already feels better. <laughs> I mean, it's a little lumpy now, but I'll show you how to take that out. I got this Magnum Sharpie right here. I'm gonna go ahead and mark that area that we just hammered upwards. Maybe a little down here too. All right, now I'm gonna file it. Now you can see where all these little high spots are. All right here, there's some lows in here. So we're gonna get the slapper and the dolly and we're gonna start planishing, planishing this all out. All right. This is my slapper here. I'm gonna be using this dolly. We're just gonna start smacking this in the low spots. Yes, this is very tedious, but if you just have simple tools, you can still get the job done. That's kind of the point of this. And now that I've gotten those lumps knocked back out, let me hit it with that file again. We can see if we've gotten any closer. Okay, that's looking pretty good. You see these real dark spots? Those are low. Those are low, but that weld is still a little bit high. You can see that weld. So I could actually go back and grind this weld down a little bit, and that'll probably help with, with bringing those lows back up. But all those lumps that I put in there, with that plastic hammer are pretty much gone. Uh, so let's let's just let's just keep let's keep hammering in here. There's still some high spots, there's still some low spots. Let me get in there a little bit. Then I'll go back with the grinder and I'll grind that off, and that, that whole spot will actually be pretty close. this marker again. I could already tell just by rubbing this marker on there that we're really, really close already. All right, you can see all those scratches are pretty consistent. I mean, these are super, super light. There's a little high spot right there where it took off a lot of the metal. Low, low right there on the other side where that weld was. A little low here, a little low there, but a little low right here in this area. Let me hit those real quick.
a little there so I can see where I'm hitting. You can see how that weld has pretty much disappeared. And that's what we want through this whole thing. All the way down. And then on the back side, across, and all right there too. This is starting to look pretty good. I can still feel a little bit of waves in here, just barely little tiny highs, little tiny lows. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit it with this shrinking disc. I got this from Pro Shaper Sheet Metal. He sells these and they work absolutely phenomenal. So lube it up a little bit with some marker. And then I'm going to hit it right here where I feel those little lumps. It's going to bring all those highs and those lows all together. Got to plug it in. Okay. Cool it off a little bit. All right guys, so I spent the last few hours hammering on this with the slapper and the dolly, and it actually came out really nice. Take a look at that. This is the back side of it. So I'm gonna put it on the car and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right guys, there it is. All right, guys, this fender's done. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys want to learn anything or even just got any questions, leave it in the comment section, and we'll see you in the next video.